Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Somaliala. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about top 20 percentiles of uh, according to your class 12 boards. Okay. If you are someone who is participating in JOSA and you are looking for someone to help you throughout the process, we are here to help you guys. So we are offering a mentorship program at triple nine rupees. It's going to increase soon. So if you want to uh, buy or if you want to join in the discounted price, do check out the payment link in the description. So in the mentorship program, you will be assigned with a mentor who will be guiding you you throughout the counseling process from A to Z. Uh, in each and every part like choice filling uh, like giving you deadlines and helping you during document verification how to upload where to upload what to upload all these things will be clarified to you and i have the mentors who have experience since last two to three years so we have been doing this since last four years so this is our fourth year right okay so if you are someone who is interested to join that mentorship program do check out the payment link in the description once after paying within 24 hours you will be added to the whatsapp group and you will be assigned a separate mentor i don't call them a mentor you will be assigned with separate your elder brother or elder sister to you so who will be guiding you throughout the counseling process right so as you all know one of the most important criteria to get into nit side is triple ITC is clearing class 12 uh, qualifying exam so in that qualifying exam there are two things either you clear 75 percent criteria or you clear top 20 percent of your board according to your category if you do any of this one you are qualified to get into seat uh, if you get seat in NITs, triple IDs, GFTs and IITs, right? So 75% criteria, you are clear, very clear on it. In your class 12, you have to get 75% marks. What is top 20 percentile? So there will be a cutoff according to your board, according to your category in all the boards, right? So these these are the cutoffs for, for example, if you see on the screen, these are the cutoffs for Aligarh Muslim University Board of Sen Secondary and Senior Secondary Education. So according to your category, general students should cross 442 uh, in 2023 and 2024 425 and ews there is no student so that's why they cr put cross marks there and according to category you can just check but according to 75 percent criteria out of the 500 marks you just need to get 375 marks so if you have 375 marks then there is then there is no use of top 20 percentile and the reason they put top 20 percentile is if the board exams are very hard and people don't get 75 percent if the topper itself is getting 76%, then all others will not be eligible to get into NIT's triple IDs, right? In that case, top 20 percentile will really help. So if you see here, the competition for top 20 percent is more than 75 percent criteria. According to 75 percent criteria, you should just need to get 375. But according to top 20 percentile for general, you should get 425 for FI or EBO. So if you clear any of this, either 375 upper, you have marks or 425 over you have marks then you are qualified anyone not both okay and this is for board of intermediate education class uh, like out of thousand marks they have given so they according to that according to the website of josa they said it should be considered out of 500 not out of thousand so i don't know why they have given it this way but yeah if uh, if i see in the josa business rules also today it mentions that if if a board gives uh, aggregate of class 11 and 12 then only class 12 marks are considered for 75 percent criteria and top 20 percentile so i don't know how they are going to cl calculate in terms of this way even if you see here 75 percent criteria is 750 marks if i calculate for thousand usually they don't do that as far as i know but yeah, let's say let's assume they are going to calculate for thousand it's 750 marks but according to this the student you should, should get 940 here also the competition is very high so this is not going to help 75 percent criteria is not going to help much in uh, uh, ap board or telangana board at least as far as i know because the competition is very high and boards are very easy if you see st usually they have to get 650 marks out of thousand if they calculate out of thousand but they don't do it but let's say let's assume but according to top 20 percentile they should get 849 or above so that's very high and if you see this is where it's going to help for bihar board out of 500 they should get 375 for 75 percent criteria but top 20 percent is 347 it's going to help people in this particular board case so that's why they have put in this either this 75 percent criteria or top 20 percent anyone you have to qualify so like that they have given cbse and uh, if you see this is chathisgarh and uh, this is for uh, raipur board of secondary education chathisgarh open school raipur 
okay and this is chatisgarh and uh, something again there is a different board in chatisgarh as well three different boards and this is uh, since council of the secondary school certificate examinations and this is i think is delhi uh, delhi state board i guess and uh, this is for in IS isc indian school certificate class 12 and uh, this is maharashtra board right so this is uttar pradesh me one more board board of secondary education so like this you can check so there is no telangana board i have checked telangana board did not submit the top 20 percentile in that case what you have to do either you have to go to the board and get a top, whether you are belongs to top 20 percentile certificate or not i mean or else if they if they if your board doesn't give that certificate in that case they will consider your cbsc cutoffs cbsc cutoffs are given for 500 marks so they will convert your class 12 marks into 500 and then see whether you are qualifying this marks or not so that's how it's going to be it's not only about telangana if any board is not mentioned in this pdf i'll leave the pdf link in the description do check out it if that board is not mentioned you have to either get a certificate from your board that whether you belong to top 20 percentile according to your category or not or else they are going to consider cbsc cutoffs for your top 20 percentile okay that's it guys that's it more that's more about uh, top 20 percentiles so please share this video to whomever you feel like they don't have 75 percent criteria and they're feeling they're uh, worrying a lot whether whether they will be getting seen into iits and iits triple iits or not let them know that there is one more criteria called top 20 percentile if they clear this at least they can get a seat into iits and iits triple iits gfti's even though if uh, if they don't have 75 percent criteria so that's more about this video so please check out the mentorship link in the description so join the mentorship today and you will be assigned with a mentor and soon we will be starting the mentorship program process as well as soon as you pay the fees okay so that's it guys see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind